Hello, I'm Komal Sharma and you're listening to The Lounge Podcast, a weekly show that gives you music, movies, art and culture news. Today's show, however, is about providing basic emergency care for victims of road accidents till the time some professional help arrives because those first few minutes can be really crucial to saving someone's life. We'll be talking about the Save Life Foundation that was set up here in Delhi by 32-year-old Piyush Tiwari. Save Life Foundation trains police and bystanders to give basic emergency care, trauma management, some lessons in control of bleeding and spinal immobilization for road accident victims. Before we go ahead and talk to Piyush and find out more about how we can get some education and training in emergency medicine, well, at least at a pedestrian level, I would also like to mention that Piyush was recognized by the Rolex Awards for Enterprise, which is a global philanthropic initiative by Rolex, the luxury watchmakers, to encourage and award people who've done extraordinary work. They were established in 1976 and are held at locations worldwide. This November, they'll be held in New Delhi. You might want to look them up to find out about several other initiatives in the field of science and health, environment, cultural heritage and applied technology. Today, however, we'll be talking to Piyush Tiwari, who is one of the youngest laureates who've been awarded the Rolex Awards for Enterprise. Let's find out more from Piyush. Hi Piyush, welcome to the Lounge Podcast. Hi Kamal. So, before we actually go on to find out how Save Life Foundation works, I believe there's a personal story to how you started the foundation. Could you briefly tell us about that? Sure. Save Life Foundation did come into being after I suffered a personal loss. Mm -hmm. But I think it has strengthened over the years because of, you know, many, many more people and institutions that have come along to support this cause. Initially, what pushed me to think about the whole issue of emergency care for road accident victims in India was the accident of my own cousin, who was 16 years old at the time of the accident. And after being hit by a car, he was lying on the road for about 40 minutes with nobody coming forward to help him or no sort of emergency services coming forward to uh, to take care of him. And he passed away as a result of that. And Mm -hmm. that prompted me to uh, think about what can be done Mm -hmm. uh, to deal with this whole issue of bystander inaction and uh, lack of emergency care in India. Okay. So how exactly does Save Life Foundation train and educate people now? Save Life Foundation is focused on what is called bystander care. You know, it's a concept that takes into account the fact that a passerby Mm -hmm. uh, plays the most crucial role in any incident that takes place from making a call to police or to emergency services to actually coming forward and rushing the victims to hospital in the absence of emergency services. Bystanders can play a very, very crucial role in saving lives. Regardless of how sophisticated a country's emergency medical response system may be, if passersby and bystanders don't come forward to actually make that one crucial call to them, you know, they are completely useless. So, and in our country, most passersby and bystanders are afraid to make that call for fear of uh, being involved in a criminal case, you know, which may ensue as a result of that accident, yeah. or get harassed by the police or be blamed for that accident uh, itself. So yeah. our objective yeah. really has been to remove that fear by taking some you know, action with the courts. And at the same time, we have tried to fill the gap of lack of emergency services uh-huh. by making sure that people who do respond or that people who are equipped to respond, like the police, right. are, are trained to provide some care to the victim while they are rushing the victim to hospital so that the chances of survival of the victim can be enhanced significantly. Right, those, so, those few yeah. minutes are really crucial. But Piyush, tell me, how do you uh, sort of map, like when you say bystanders, it could be anyone and everyone, so yeah. who do you teach and who do you train? So at this stage, there are two things we are doing. One is that we are trying to create a supportive legal environment for any bystander to come forward and help. Mm-hmm. We have a PIL which is being heard by the Honorable Supreme Court of India, mm-hmm. and uh, we are expecting a decision on that soon that would hopefully provide a supportive legal environment for anyone to come forward and help. Right. In the meanwhile, what we have done is that in whichever communities we work in, we identify persons from the community who are keen to volunteer with us, who are based in the area, and who are mobile. And then we train them in what is called basic trauma life support, Mm -hmm. which are basic skills uh, to save someone's life just using your hands and without any specialized equipment or knowledge. 
And then we, we connect them through our technology system, which we've developed with support from the Rolex Awards yeah. and a company called Relicare. Mm -hmm. And uh, we use that technology to mobilize, to inform people first about, you know, an incident having taken place in their area. Hmm. And then we, we get them moving to that area and start uh, stabilizing the victim before the arrival of formal services, who also we, our system informs side by side. Okay. For our listeners, if somebody wants to help or maybe volunteer or maybe, I don't know, be a representative in their neighborhood or community, how can they go about it? They can very simply, they can contact us through our website, which is savelifefoundation.org. They can call our, you know, on our, on our helpline number, which is 4109-1911. Okay. Or uh, they can write to us. They can email me directly, piyush at savelifefoundation.org, and uh, we'll engage them. The first thing that we want people to start doing is that, you know, even if they're not keen to, you know, rush victims to hospital, we expect them to at least make that call to the agency or, or to the person who can do that job. And that's the least that we expect from, from people of this country, just on the basis of humanity and nothing more. Sure, sure. So that's the first expectation that we have from anyone who wants to work with us in this area. Okay, this is great for now. Just one more thing. Is this only a, a Delhi-based thing or are you going outside the city? We are currently operational in Delhi, UP, Maharashtra, and Andhra Pradesh. By the end of this year, we would have expanded to Karnataka as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And on a regular basis, you know, we are getting requests from different states to come and work with the agencies there. Right. And at this stage, we are working with the Bureau of Police Research and Development mm -hmm. to design a program that can be delivered to different state police organizations by existing hospitals. Okay. in those areas okay so and hopefully then to good samaritans and people who want to volunteer for this this kind of work as well that's mm -hmm. our objective right now okay okay this sounds great thanks so much for talking to us piyush and um, all the best for that pil okay thank you okay bye-bye all right thanks. Bye -bye. Bye. So that's save life foundation for you thanks for listening in do write to us at feedback at lifemint.com bye-bye